Palace of Mopu. I know I can make a success at the new convent. I do so feel I was called to do God's work there. Black Narcissus is about a group of nuns in the 1930s who travel to a monastery in the Himalayan mountains to set up a convent. When they arrive there, the beauty of the landscape and the stories that the palace holds dismantles each nun's faith. This house has never been good, Sister Cloda. My father used to allow some bad goings on here. The building of St. Faith's is a great backdrop for the story. Ruth very quickly becomes quite entranced by this idea that there could be something else in this house. It's just so wonderful for something that's so about the erotic and the sensual and the free to then become the house of nuns and order and restraint. It makes for a very interesting, I think, dynamic. Shouldn't have come here, a place where time doesn't even exist. The technical people that they hired onto the film are just top, top people. Um, Cave Quinn, who somehow designed both the costumes and the sets, her attention to detail was just unmatched. A lot of these windows and doors, and when you come up close to them, the wood and everything, it's all, they're all stuff that was shipped over, I think, from Nepal. It's really, really authentic. In the original film, they'd based the actual palace on a sort of Tibetan mon monastery, and so we wanted to move away from that. The actual influences of our palace are based on Indian palaces rather than Tibetan monastery. The colour comes in and kind of gives a kind of otherwise um, frigid nun's psyche a shock. <laughs> the world that we film in is incredible. I mean, the, t the attention to detail on this is insane. The costume is actually really interesting. That helps so much. We wear a wimple and the veil, and uh, it changes completely the way that you move. For me, it, it really gets me into the headspace of a system trying to control you. My vocation is hollow, Mr. Dean. This place makes you see. It was funny because we were so stripped back as nuns, you know, there's no makeup, no hair, and yet around us was this opulence and there's these sets that were so detailed and incredible, which is also just such a gift for any creative because you've got so much to work with. Right. There's a lot to explore in this actually, not just about religion, but also, you know, sexuality, um, clash of cultures, which is quite fascinating to me. It has started. Those are pretty universal themes, I think, and then it's told in this fascinating and exotic setting that is something that I don't think people see uh, on screen very much. I think this place is too much for all of us.